What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and this gameplay I'm bringing you guys is a domination on the map Zoo with the L96. I get a very good score, it's a lot better than the uh, last score that I had in the last gameplay, so I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy this one. But, uh, basically what I want to talk about is probably the best like commentary I could possibly give you guys, and it's leaked info about Modern Warfare 3. Now, whether or not it's 100% true, uh, we'll never be able to tell until Infinity Ward releases some stuff. Apparently there's some kind of a teaser trailer that has been released. I saw it on someone else's channel. But this is not information like talking about the teaser trailer because it didn't give us that much. This is from an actual website where uh, a guy interviewed Infinity Ward and they basically told uh, this guy, his name is Kotaku. I'm going to give you guys the website too in the description so you can look at it. But I'm going to talk about the highlights of what is basically said in this uh in this, I guess you can say, I'm not going to say chat, basically on what's on this website. So, I'm going to start off by saying that Spec Ops is going to be returning to Modern Warfare 3, except it's going to be different than what it was in Modern Warfare 2. If you can imagine what Zombies is like and what Spec Ops is like and put both of those together, it's basically what you're going to be getting in Modern Warfare 3. There's going to be a Spec Ops mode where you're going to be doing the Spec Ops missions, but instead there's going to be endless waves of enemies and they're gonna get more difficult each round just like zombies I think this is gonna bring like something completely new to the table for like the next Call of Duty game and it's definitely gonna be exciting I'm definitely gonna have to uh, try it out maybe even upload something of it because it's just different it's new and I think it's gonna be really great so um, we'll see with that I'm also gonna talk about the uh, the maps they've given the uh, lists of the map names they have so far and what they said is there's basically going to be 20 maps. Uh, they're not sure if some maps will get cut, as you guys know. Like, some game modes get cut as well. Like, in Modern Warfare 2, there was things like uh, Global Thermonuclear War and Arena. Those things got uh, cut from the game. So, some of these maps might get cut. Some of them might be completely wrong. Who even knows? Uh, but, um, yeah, this right here was so stupid. I, I don't even know what I was thinking. Uh, I had a pretty good streak going, but, you know. Okay, whatever. So, basically the map names are Alpha, Alps, Bootleg, Bravo, Brooklyn, Carbon, Coast, Dome, which is kind of weird because uh, Dome was in Call of Duty 5, but whatever. Uh, Exchange, Hard Hat, Interchange, Lambeth, Meteora, Mogadishu, Paris, Plaza 2, Radar, Sea Town, Underground, and Village. And, um... It seems like uh, pretty basic. Actually, well, not really. I was going to say the, the names sound pretty basic, but uh, I don't know. There's no pictures of them on the website. There's uh, really no detail about each one and what their map size is. These are just names, which means they're still going through development, obviously. And, you know, we have no idea what's really going to happen with, with this list of map names. But it's interesting to see... Like, if you look at the map names now, and when the game is released, it'll be interesting to see what actually went through and what didn't, if it's even, like, legitimate map names. So I think that's pretty cool. For Spec Ops, we have... It has some uh, modes that's listed. For Survival Mode, you have the maps Carbon, Dome, Radar, Sea Town, and Village. And if that's the case, those five maps are basically verified to be in the game. So, this website will be legitimate if... Like, that's really true. Like, if it's not true at all, then, you know, I don't know really how I'm trying to word this. I'm not saying it right at all. I'm sorry. But since it's saying that Spec Ops mode involved multiplayer maps, that means these maps are basically guaranteed to be in the game, if you understand what I'm saying. Hopefully, I, I didn't uh, make that too confusing to say. Um, then it has Spec Ops missions, just regular missions, and it says uh, Civilian Rescue. Flood the Market, Invisible Threat, Little Bros, Out of Africa, No Fly Zone, and Wingman. And these actually sound pretty interesting. Civilian Rescue sounds pretty awesome. Uh, and same with Flood the Market. Even Invisible Threat, they just all sound awesome. And I think it's because, I, I wasn't going to say, actually I will say it, Black Ops is kind of boring right now. So, you know, I can't wait for this game to come out. So I'm, I'm glad I get to talk about it and you guys get to listen. If you're still listening, I'm pretty sure some people probably have ventured off to the website to get a look at it for themselves. But, yeah, I hope you're still watching. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you if you go to the website, because uh, you get to see it firsthand, and it's really cool to see it. So, 
Let's see. I'm just going through the website right now. It has some pictures of the uh, character players and what they look like if you're using an LMG or if you have a demolition class or an SMG class or an assault rifle class, stuff like that. There's some screenshots in here and I'm not sure if they are of the game, but if they are of the game, it looks uh, pretty awesome. Apparently Modern Warfare 3 has been confirmed to be running on the Modern Warfare 2 engine, the Infinity Ward uh, 4.0 engine, I think that's what it's called. So the graphics are going to be uh, basically the same maybe as Modern Warfare 2, maybe even better, so that's good to know. And uh, here I'm going to talk about some of the weapons that they're possibly going to be bringing back. Uh, I have no idea if they are. Here I'm seeing a picture of the Scorpion, and the next gun is an MP5, and they're showing the ones from Modern Warfare 1 and Modern Warfare 2, and the one that's going to be the new style of MP5, it looks like it has a different stock, and it's it's geared to be more like the one in Call of Duty 4, which a lot of people are going to like because the MP5 was great in Call of Duty 4. And Modern Warfare 2, like... How do I say this? I guess the MP5 in Call of Duty 4 could play sort of an assault rifle role, I guess you can say. It kind of hit that medium to long range uh, area a lot better than the MP5 could in Modern Warfare 2. The one in Modern Warfare 2 was basically kept for anywhere from short range to medium range. But the MP5 in COD 4 could definitely do some damage at long range. Oh, and I like this kill right here, I'm just watching. Bam! Headshot for the dogs. Love it. So, some more weapons. Um, seeing the scar right here, and that's kind of making me upset. If they do bring the scar back, I hope they bring not back the scar H, but the scar L. And if any of you have played uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2, you I actually I th is it in Battlefield Bad Company 2? It's either that or Medal of Honor. There's like a scar L. It's basically like the submachine gun version of the scar H. And I'd rather see that return because the assault rifle version is really powerful in Modern Warfare 2. So, um, the Russian pistol, the MP4, what am I saying? MP412, the MP412, however you want to say it. Uh, that was also in Battlefield 2, also. So, here I'm seeing an M21. I really don't care if that's in there or not. The RSASS, a semi auto sniper. This thing looks pretty cool. Uh, they're showing the Model 1887s. Hopefully they're not, like, when they release it, it won't be as powerful as they were when Modern Warfare 2 was released, because we all know how bad that was. Okay. Oh, wait. Here's the Scar. What other gun did I see? I'm sorry about this, guys. No. There's two pictures of the Scar. Maybe there will be a Scar H and a Scar L. Who knows? Um, we got another pistol here. It says P99. Titanium coated. I don't know what kind of pistol this is. I'm just looking at the screenshots. I can't see the uh, the information. Um, here's an AK-47. Pretty typical to put it in the game. Uh, we have a Barrett 50 cal. A new striker. It's it's supposed to be the South African striker. It actually looks a lot cooler than the striker in Modern Warfare 2. And um, here we have the M320 grenade launcher. I am not pleased about this, but it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, I really just hope they don't put it in. It looks like it's gonna, it, like it can be in a separate gun, like you can just have an M320, or you can have it attached to the gun. And uh, yeah, so we have the AA12. I like the AA12, but I know a lot of people don't like it. Here we have some kind of pump-action shotgun. Not really sure what it's called. Doesn't say anything about it. We have an M4, which is uh, pretty typical, also the G36C. Actually, just a G36, because there's different uh, models of the G36. So, yeah, I always like the G36 in uh, COD 4, so it'd be really cool to see it return. And we have the Magpul FMG uh, foldable machine pistol. Looks pretty cool. And um, that's basically it. And here's a screenshot that says Attack on New York City for Modern Warfare 3. So that reveals some of the plot line. That's basically it for the Modern Warfare 3 leaked info. Um, I believe there's going to be an E3 conference that's going to talk more about it. So once that happens, I will definitely have another discussion like this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like if you enjoyed the gameplay. I go 50 to 4, which is pretty awesome. Vote for one of the gameplays that I have listed right here. And um, as always, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for all of my YouTube channel updates. And don't forget to check out the previous video, guys. And I'm also going to be linking a... Uh, 
an insane guitar solo video in the top right corner of this video as well. So check it out if you get the time. Thanks.